Okay. Little Cooper's logbook. The IMC Dynamic Testing Facility. There you have it. Test new weaponry out. Create and manufacture and then test new weaponry. We've arrived at Major Anderson. Major Anderson. <laughs> Speaking the same thing. Okay, now. This is the one chapter I was hoping we'd get to, Stoll. Uh, mm -hmm. It's too quiet it's too because this is going to be quite the introduction to how good this game is. And when I said before, there is a particular chapter that's one of the greatest in gaming, I'm referring to this one. That's true. Let's make less noise. Ooh, what's happening? Overseer requests all teams working mm -hmm. on the arc analysis report to the lecture hall for General Marder's presentation. Thanks. You see the Whoa. reality shift? Yeah. I was like, what happened there? Yeah, this is the one thing I remember about this game from six years ago, dude. I remember being blown away sitting in that little flat in London. Little Pathfinders, Marvins. It's kind of like, kind of like a then and now, isn't it? Like you. Yeah, because now couldn't it's have said it better. What happened? What just happened? There are distortions throughout this facility, and they appear to be causing a rift in time. You said it, mate. I caution until we... There are distortions in this facility, and they're causing a rift through time. We will, in fact, safeguard the existence of the human race, extending it. Look at this poor soul. Just, I think the lecture's done, bud. You can go. <laughs> yeah, looks like their roof caved in on them. That was quite the lesson. Up here. <laughs> Lol. He just died of boredom. <laughs> That's quite the lesson. That's just like massive teacher joke in it. What happened? Well, these guys got absolutely smoked. Here's the thing. Do they see me? Just a Any suspicious activity should be reported. Nah. Ooh. Oh. Dragon. Just Jurassic Park. <laughs> exactly, eh? <laughs> yeah. Right, I think that's where we actually have to go. What is this place? What happened to everyone? Yeah. Up. What is this place? The IMC has multiple scientific I'd researchers like to know the answer to both those questions. Here. However, this particular one is unlike any known to the militia. How many of these are there, or how so? How is this different? How so? How so? The large rings within the main campus are not an IMC technology. Its design is foreign, and its function is unknown. Big time. So, there's your, there's your secret. There's many IMC res uh, research facilities, but none like this. And that big iron ring in the middle is not of their making. That's foreign to the IMC technology, so what is it? Hmm. PT? What are you saying? None of these remains match the genetic profile of Major Anderson. That's kind of look like an alien ship. So we're looking for... Oh, the men, you yeah. check the main lobby of reception. I would looking for Major Anderson. My chassis will not fit through the door. Lucky you. Time to earn my keep. Earn your keep. Time to earn my keep. On the contrary, you are proving yourself to be much <laughs> more than a Class Three rifleman. I suspect Major Anderson will be. I was waiting for a jump scare. There's always jump scares here. Mm. Here it is. Major Anderson, we found him. Got a new helmet. Down. Anderson's dead. But I have his helmet. And like him, it appears to be in one piece. Well done. If you bring it to me, I can analyze his helmet for important data. Got He's gonna analyze the helmet. Let's go. Pilot, if you hand me Anderson's See how he was just molded into it. the ceiling? Yeah, yeah, that was super weird. 
Looks like he's melted into it. With the Captain of Anderson, Command of Special Operation 217. Okay, so we've just inherited another objective. Congratulations on your field promotion, Michael Cooper. <laughs> the following is Anderson's mission briefing from Commander Sarah Briggs of the Militia SRS. Major Anderson. From Two who? weeks ago, we intercepted IMC comms. They found something on Typhon. A massive blast of energy was discharged at this location, creating time okay. distortions. I want SRS on the ground to infiltrate the facility. Roger that. I'll get some answers. This wrist-mounted device we recovered during Operation Grizzly should protect you. We know the IMC have contracted Kuban Blisk and his mercenaries to protect something critical there. there they are. So watch Apex your back. Predators. And Anderson, mm -hmm. you know yep. how much I love writing death reports, so don't go it alone. The SRS is a team. Okay. Pilot, the data Major Anderson collected appears to be incomplete. We are duty bound to uphold and fulfill Special Operation 217. Recommend we locate Anderson's wrist mounted device before proceeding. I didn't see any device on Anderson. What are we supposed to do? Down. Yeah. What are we supposed to do? Our mission has been updated. I detect a breach in the security services building. I will provide access. What's up, Brandon? Welcome back. I will just in time for the good stuff. The ring structure while you investigate the facility for intel and the missing device. Okay, investigate the facility. Yeah, so we basically just learned that uh, the mercenaries are trying to protect that thing, whatever it is. Oh, right? I gotta go down to PT. Nice. Maybe you can throw me. Maybe next time you can throw me. Got yeah, it. whatever the IMC found here, they did not want to give up. Hmm. And it obviously cost Major Anderson his life, and BT places such importance of it that we now need to. Yeah, it's it's our it's our job now. Am I meant to go up here? They've obviously already alluded to it being something alien as well, not not of this world, so to say. Yeah. Whoa! 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 whoa. What are you mate? Whoa, what was that? Didn't realise we were sitting down for breakfast? No. I'm out of explosives. Oh my god. Where do I go here? Hey, you cornered yourself pretty well there, though. Yeah, not, it's, it doesn't help. Through there. I hate robots, man. Look at them. Okay, one more. Jesus, look at him just falling out of everywhere. Nah. Gotta know when to call him. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> gotta know when to walk away, gotta know when to run. You picking up what this chapter's putting down so far? Mm. Poor boys. Okay. That's what they look like now. <laughs> So they were invaded. Wait a sec. Is this an... Yeah, this is an IMC facility that we're in right now. Yep. Yeah. And it was invaded by... Aliens! <laughs> so... I think the coolest thing about this particular chapter is... You know, it, BT mentioned there's time disturbances and... Yeah. What I do in the past, you see, re is directly related in the future. I, just then, I just murk those IMC soldiers and their bodies appeared, and look who it is. Mr. Anderson, top half. Mm -hmm. Take his wrist-mounted device. Sorry, Anderson. How do you get stuck in the ground like that? Boom. Press L1 to time travel. 
personnel and research team. Aha, right. The freaking coolest Let's mechanic see. in gaming. So there's something impeding your past. Sorry, if there's something impeding your way in the future. Mm -hmm. You go back in time and try and yeah, like this door. Unimpede that. Does that also get you out of trouble as well? Like if you're in a really yeah. hairy situation, can you just <laughs> jump? Imagine just being a grunt, you're just in your facility and work, and then poof, all of a sudden, this militia guy just appears. Like, bang. Checkpoint. Additional laser meshes are online. Let's box him in. Control, we've initiated contact with... I'm like, ooh, 9-9. Nine, nine. Let me take the 9-9. Nine, nine. Ooh, 9 seven, sorry. Oh. Are you... Okay, H how linear is this right now? Are you sort of just running around? Or do you know where you're supposed to be going? I can do it. Oh, I'm just running around. But yeah, I can uh, time jump whenever I want. Exactly like that. Do you have fixed objectives? Yep. I guess it's get out of this alive. Okay. Ooh. Dude, that section uh, in the past. Or not. No. Because there's a bunch of... Oh, Prowler. I just needed myself. Yeah, there was a bunch yeah, of... Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, whoop. <laughs> there was a bunch of sentry cannons there. Oh, I love this. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, I see them down the end. Mm. Poor Marvin. Marvin the robot? Yeah, that's what they're called, little Marvins. Okay. Oh, I'm stuck. What? Oh my god, so lucky. So if you're still in the chat there, Brandon, do you think this is one you're going to pick up? See this yeah. Kind of dust there. Are you going to dust it off? I've got quite a lot of people coming in, and now I've got all these like little prowlers around. Oh, that's a Marvin. Let's take the Mastiff. It's a bit stronger. Okay. Anything up here? Ooh. Yeah, for anyone who's watching, I would recommend this particular level and just to go and. Oh, I've got one bullet. That's tough. Just to go and have fun with it. Especially this mechanic. It's. Oh my god, I can't stress how enjoyable it is to run through and to do these things. Like, has, has it been done before? Not that I know of. Okay, here we go. What happened to Anderson? The IMC found something alright. It can fold space and time. It sure as hell didn't build it. Yeah, it comes out of nowhere, doesn't it, Brandon? Whatever they're planning, it's potentially catastrophic. Like, the themes of this game are so deep, the campaign, it's so underrated. Typhoon dig site. So whatever they found, the IMC is not theirs. Whoop! Crate. Nice. I want this. Yeah, I want that. Oh, hello. Uh, go here. Let's go. I've only got my shotgun. It's not ideal. Oh fuck! Oh my god! 
course robots don't die. They last Someone forever. wanted to say hello. Yeah. G'day. Oh. Excuse you. Is this something common in this game or is it only for certain people? Uh, no, I would say this is, uh, this, to be honest, anyone can play this through. And the storyline is, yeah, it's, the themes of it are very much of the underdog, of friendship, and of justice. You know, it's not as deep as Final Seven is what we're playing. How am I going to get through here? So there's a little hole on the other side there. Let's do it. Do I have to? Oh my god, I have to drop on them. Halfway through. Let's drop on this guy. Oh, okay, gotcha. I was like, yeah. how are you gonna do this? Yeah, it just hit me. I was like, oh my god, I can't get through that ground. I thought I could just spam nades. Okay. Let's stay in this, this reality, or well, this time. Anderson doing. Anderson his mission. 342. The fold weapons power source is called the Ark. The Ark. Is that the source of its power? Affected the casing. This one's empty. The Ark must be somewhere else. Anderson out. Time to dust it off. Which of three gonna have to sit? Lol. Yeah, you breeze through this. This will be a day playthrough if you've got if you've got a good couple of hours. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Saved by the yeah. wristwatch. <laughs> Saved by the Timex. Let's go. I didn't even uh we're just you know, we're just talking Witcher. Talking dust and old games off and then all of a sudden little explosive ticks come up. This guy has no idea. <laughs> yeah, poor robot. Imagine just standing there and then... Fist to the face. <laughs> just out of nowhere. I'm really uh, low on ammunition, if you will. There we go. Okay, so are you picking up ammunition constantly from just oh wow or dead bodies and whatever? Uh, if it's the same gun as what I have. Okay, so kind of need to go through here and just avoid those turrets. Let's go. That doesn't make sense because if I put it in the future, it's not going to be there in the past, is it? Exactly. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. My understanding of uh, quantum physics is not what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I already got that gun. Let's run through here. I gotta say, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed by this stage. Just the, the the amount of thought that had to go into this, if you know what I mean. Certain uh, corridors have been broken so that you yep. know the floor is gone. That means that you know whether you're in the past or the future, that's mm. going to affect your path of travel. And again, with the turrets, like in the future they're gone. So obviously the the moment when you decide to jump between times that's gonna be life or death life or death quite literally like that it reminds yeah. me of an old platformer like a uh, crash bandicoot for lack of a better example you know jumping onto a moving platform or a platform that's about to disappear they've combined those elements very well mm hmm yep yeah yeah true Is 
it's this guy from the future or the past. We're from the present, and we're traveling back in the past every time I flick my little watch here. So we're in the past right now. Now we're in the future. Or in the present, sorry. And there's obviously a lot of our fauna. Oh my god. Yep, this is... Ugh. Very on both sides. Yep. It's either dog animals killing you or... Dog animals. Tentacle dogs. Tentacle dogs. Jurassic Park. Poison. Really... Lizard. Oh my god. Get the, get the old shotgun out. Now, these guys on the stairwell, right? No, they're not there. Let's go. Get out of my game. <laughs> okay. Oh, hello. What are we saying up here? Ooh! Got hurt by that. So you, you invading this facility right now kind of feels like you're the one who do it, who's doing the invading. It, oh, in the past. I'm so glad you said that. Because that's the big question. Like, who caused all this damage? Yeah, who caused the destruction? Okay, was so it you? Or were you a part of a, a bigger onslaught? Like, hmm. This is going to be really tough. I guess we start here. Let's try and snag that helmet. What's this? Little repair droid. Oh, I missed it! Yep. Yeah. Maybe the helmet's pretty tough. Wait. How many times can you die? Infinite. Oh no! <laughs> hey, uh, like I said, wouldn't be me, right? Let's go, so we just gotta jump. Jump. There we go, we got it. Oh no, there's fire. <laughs> yeah, and... The th what you said before, the thought, they essentially have to build two stages, two levels, yeah. and match them up, mm -hmm. and give you the ability to switch in and out every single, at any moment. Yeah, I'm surprised there's like no loading screen. Yeah, for a PS4 game. Mm. Okay. Oh my god. I've got to start putting a death counter for the sake of comedy. Mate. <laughs> I'm not too sure if my dignity could maintain it, man. <laughs> Ooh, trip double take. Not the triple take like Apex. I guess we're going down. Let's do it. Uh, the, uh, after, in yeah. Incoming death counter. Three, two, one. Oh my god. Whoa! <laughs> Just chomped by a fan in, in the past. Alright, got it. So now we, know, now we know where those blood rivers came from. Okay. Yeah, you're right. I think the death counter is kind of appropriate for whenever I game. Oh my god. Whoa. I thought I died then. That, that was cool. That was really cool, actually. This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Okay. <laughs> Come fuck with Anderson. Oh, he can't go back. His watch is broken. That was Major Anderson's final recording. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. Anderson's the enemy, right? He's not one of our No, guys. he's you. He's, um, your... He's one of your kind of, I guess, higher-ranking sergeants or generals. Oh, That's that okay. guy. That poor soul from way back in the day. Yeah, we've recovered his helmet. He's on our side. He's militia. And he's basically discovered that the IMC have this weapon now. And he's like, holy shit, well, I need to warn people because they're about to, you know, they'll come for us now. They're using this, I guess, inhabitable planet as a test. Mm -hmm. 
and here I guess is the explanation. So we got lunar target, wave stream, space fault, traversal, hypergravity wave stream, and then where you are. The game loosely, uh, loosely explained tide travel. Yeah. I would like to spend some time today to talk about the value of human life. There is no value to human life. No value to human life. There you go. What's going on there, these boys? Oh, hello! Fuck! My god. Do I kind of... Don't know if I want to go back through, you know, the past or the future. Or the present. I've got to stop saying the future. Yeah. Because see the past or present, isn't it? Yeah. Marty! We have to go back to the future! <laughs> <laughs> okay. You mean the present? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the full scale fold weapon cannot function without the arc. Track the arc in the present using a scan of it from the past. My god, imagine somebody jumps back in time right in front of your face. Yeah, those those poor soldiers, they did get a taste of that, Brandon. You meet me Just a big shock up to the face. The or fist. Exactly that. Knuckle sandwich. Poor guy. Yeah. Oh my god! What's worse, fighting prowlers or soldiers? Soldiers. Oh, let's fight both. The prowlers seem to go down in one hit with the right weapon. I think it's just. Whoa, hello! Yeah. It's so weird, you're fighting two different battles at once. Yeah, across two different time streams, isn't it? Yeah. How do these boys get along? Oops. More coming up. I need to change out this, uh... It'd be funny if the NPC would die of a heart attack just because of that. It should, I reckon that would be an actually real comedic insert. <laughs> <laughs> What's on my mind still? He's right behind me, isn't he? Nope, he's right in front of you. <laughs> uh, Futurama, classic. Futurama. Yeah. Alright, I, I think I gotta get out of here. This isn't safe to be. Yeah. Oh, what? Get the old quick scoop. Go on. Nice. Yeah. Kind of want to drop that. Massive zoom. They're more prowlers side around these things. BT, let's jump in. To extend the bridge to the I can BT the go back? Ooh, I can take BT back. Y'all are fucked now. You guys play Witcher and I have Witcher. Uh, I have played 10 minutes of it. I know that sounds really bad. But I, um... Yeah, I guess... I guess the age of the game really got to me. This thing's done. I don't have any experience in that either. I've been wanting to watch the television show since I have got news, but... Uh, yeah. Apparently it's a really I've good book. I've never looked around the game. But I imagine the concept's kind of similar, right? Right? Because he's kind of jumping between realities, from what I understand. Of the Witcher? I don't know. Yeah. Charge rifle. I could be completely wrong. Data knife. It's exactly just like Gaming Sins explained. A game which everybody has, but never finished. Yep. So there's the Ark, back in the day. This is where they get yeah. this power from, what's happening. They're, well, they're trying to harness it, really. Any boys here that I can uh, fry? The arc is overloading. Where's BT? Where did I leave him? Everyone evacuate now. I don't remember. There he is. Up there. 
I kind of want to get to him. Oh no. Where is he? Jump in. Get absolutely worked by these things. So take a moment. Deal with some scrubs. Reload. Let's get ready. But in the present, the arc is broken. Loot. Oh my god. I'm gonna put a prediction out there. I think you're the one who's gonna break it. Strong prediction. Just give myself a little bit of breathing space. One might say, I can see the future. Way. <laughs> That's our objective. Get there. Maybe riot stole. Lost a bit. Lost stability. BT. BT. Just suspended in time. Broken. Mm -hmm. Looks like you broke time. You've broken the space time continuum. <laughs> yeah. The epicness of this, eh? Right. All this in a PS4 game. Who would have thought? In a first person shooter. That Warning. no one ever played. Yeah. Unable host. Scared in progress. Mapping a mission complete. That was almost giving me remake vibes. I don't know what I'm talking about there. The IMC Ooh, really? Destroy the militia I played The Witcher for 30 hours and left it there in the dust for two years, and I restarted the game for sake to be immersed in the story. Our journey is far from Never over. played it since. We must get this data to the fleet. I've got many games like that, mate. Yeah, isn't it weird how, like, you know, you have games that you pick up and just put down mm. and never touch again? Exactly. And then, like, having them many years later, you're like, oh, that was actually pretty cool. I want to give it a go. And you pick it up again and. That's why I love revisiting this at the moment, mate. It's like, it's just a diamond in the rough. Especially after that chapter, yeah. like, playing that for the first time. Whew.